Hello everybody and welcome! If you have been a subscriber of this wonderful channel for a bit longer, you may remember that back when the KSP subreddit reached 100,000 subscribers, I did some sort of special video where I brought a statue to Elu. Well, since the subreddit for Kerbal Space Program now has passed 300,000 subscribers, I thought I should revisit that idea. And well, what better way to do this than make an even bigger statue? And here it is. We're now flying in over the KSC and look at what's standing on the launch pad. This is a lot more Kerbal like than the statue I delivered to Elu before. And we've also got three fingers extended to signify the 300,000 subscribers. Yeah, thing is, this thing also weighs 300,000 kilograms, or 300 tons. And so it took a lot of rocket to get this thing off the ground. And this here is sort of one of the first iterations where I tried this. Yeah, we're launching with, as you may notice, a lot of lag, since this is way above a thousand parts. I think it's more than 1200 or something like that. And yeah, did I mention the station? Uh, the station, the statue weighed. Uh, whoopsie! Yeah, that didn't go so well, it seems. I mean, I do like the pattern these uh, boosters make when they fly around like that. And yeah, we were once more carpet bombing the entire Kerbal Space Center. Curiously, the launching pad is still holding up. Probably not after this little tip of the hat enters it. Oh, it's already gone. And so is now the hat of Jab. Well, his eyes are still working, it seems. And we ruined the runway. Uh, as well. So, again! Yeah, it's time to try again and fail again. Mm, this time a bit more, well, spectacular. Well, that's for you to decide. But we once more get these beautiful smoke trails around. I do love my fireworks. But hey, the head almost stayed intact. Whoa, look at that. That is some carnage right there. Wow. Okay, well, well, he can't say anything anymore. His wife will be pleased, if he has one. And we've ruined the tracking stage. <laughs> Again! Yeah, so I opted for a redesign. This here is sort of trying to put the entire weight of the statue in the middle of all of the boosters and rockets and fuel tanks and whatever to create sort of a more stable vehicle. If I remember correctly, that's also what I did with the first statue I sent to ELO, so yeah, maybe I should have taken some design cues from myself. Anyhow, what I wanted to tell you before is the statue would weigh about 300 tons without any fuel in it, because there are a lot of fuel tanks in there. But I had to pump a lot of fuel in the legs to lower the center of gravity, otherwise, or so I figured, it would fall over on Elu. And yes, we are trying to get this thing to Elu once again. Stage separation coming up. And boom! There we go. Something exploded, I think, but nothing that is still heading upwards, so I think we're fine. And look at that. Look at that beautiful frame rate, which has already been sped up four times. You can't imagine what I had to endure to get this thing up into the air. Alright, heading out of the clouds, one more beautiful pass across this, well, I'm not really calling it a spaceship, it's more of a contraption. 
I really wonder if this would work somehow in real life if you build something weird as that. Or if they just would opt for a really, really big fairing. Okay, second stage separation coming up and... Yeah, that didn't go so well, it seemed. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this is disintegrating nicely, I would say. And a raging fireball to the skies again. Yeah, I did just a minor tweak of uh, in which directions the separation boosters are firing and, well, that did the trick. There you go. Sort of not a Korolev cross, but a Kerbal hexacross, because there are six boosters. Now, what do I know? I'm pretty sure there is a very, very serious terminology for that kind of thing in real life, but I do not know it. Sorry about that. Anyhow, we're now probably coming up. Yeah, this is our third stage separation and something exploded again. But it is just the booster, it seems. And I think we lost a fingertip, but I'm not sure. And yeah, we can spare a tip. Okay, some atmospheric heating effects while we're heading out of the atmosphere. And curiously, we could look into the fairing due to the heating thing. Is that something like when Homer Simpson rubbed a hamburger on the wall and you could see through the wall? I mean, that was not heat, that was fat. But anyways, same kind of logic. Because it isn't, you know, logical. Yeah, circularization now here and... We've decapitated Jebediah. Hmm. Again. All right. The trick to not decapitate my beautiful statue was to really go gently on the throttle because it if I would have fired all of those boosters hard, then yeah, they would have ripped it apart again. Okay. Final, well, penultimate actually stage separation. Okay, these boosters, they are on still a suborbital trajectory, so they will tumble back to the ground or the sea or whatever. And we just used about 30 meters per second of our transfer stage to get this thing into a stable orbit. You've seen me just extended the antenna because, yeah, ELU is far out and this is totally an autonomous vehicle. And I do not want to lose contact with Kerbin. You see here I got a... a Deep space network setup with multiple satellites. And yeah, this is one of the most tedious things in Kerbal Space Program. Getting an encounter with a planet, which is far out. Yeah, I finally got one after I think almost a half an hour or something of trying and failing with this. And yeah, this is one of the reasons why people use MacJab. Okay. Now we're firing for our ejection burn, and even though I'm using, I don't know, 7 times, no, 14 times 6, so that's 60, 4 times 6 is 24, uh, 84, 84 <laughs> nuclear engines, I am still not uh, powerful enough to do this in one go, I have to do multiple passes of Kerbin to reach my escape velocity without, yeah, failing totally with my trajectory and still then I had to do some adjustment burns to get my encounter with Elo, which is also one of the really finicky things to do. If you want to get an encounter with something that is far away in KSP, it is a hassle. Yeah, and we're now we have skipped through about two years of travel through dark space, so to speak. And here we are, the icy planet of Elu, which if you have uh, ever installed OPM, the Other Planets mods, is probably just a moon of Sarnas, the much larger gas giant that has not been discovered yet in the stock game. I am still waiting for OPM or something like that to become part of the stock game, but yeah, I'm still hoping. Okay, 
I definitely knew that the transfer, sta transfer stage would not have enough power to uh, get this thing into a stable orbit. And yeah, this was something due to time warping. Again! What happened was I kind of got impatient and I pressed the regular time warp button, even though the, sta uh, the statue was not yet completely... <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's one way to get rid of your transfer stage. Just let it wobble out of existence. Yay, Kraken! <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, what, what did I want to tell you? Yeah, I wanted to tell you about the mishap before. Uh, since I just pressed time acceleration before the statue was completely settled in its vector, when I went out of time acceleration, apparently some parts kind of thought they were stuck in a weird angle and everything exploded. Yeah, it could also have been something to do with that wobbly thing uh, afterwards. Anyhow, we're now lowering our orbit. And after we've passed behind Elu, because I want to do this in sunshine, then we're going to attempt our landing. And this is going to be exciting! Yeah! Alright, let's do this. Okay, we're doing our pass across Elu. Actually, I wanted to land this thing in sort of that scar type thing of Elu, but I was not sure how the surface um, surface conditions are there, and I knew that the wider parts are quite okay to land on, so yeah, I decided to settle on this here. We are now doing our burn. And all of those vector engines on those 5 meter tanks are firing overtime. But still, our Kerbal statue is looking as happy as can be. Now, I've uh, done this like this. I've uh, cancelled all my horizontal velocity first, so that I'm just dropping towards the surface. And now it's just a question of not crashing. Which, if you've ever played Kerbal Space Program, can be a challenge. Alright, but this is looking okay. We still have a few hundred meters per second of delta V left, which is quite an enough margin to get down there. Unless, yeah, we do something stupid. Well, we, me. You're not doing something stupid, you're watching this video, and I'm very thankful for that. And I hope you enjoyed it up until this point. And now there's something weird going to happen, because... Yeah, we're bouncing. Look at that. This statue is basically bunny hopping around. And I was too scared to let the landing stage go. And then we almost dropped it, and oh, dropped the stage, dropped the statue, and then I had to fire the engines again, and then we started sliding like ice skating 400 ton statue on Elu. Yeah, or whatever its weight was in the end, I, I, I need to look it up. Maybe I'll make an insert here somewhere. How heavy it really is with all that fuel ballast inside. Okay, now I panicked and hit the throttle way too much. <laughs> and my my generous delta V margin that I had is now almost gone. Okay, but now I really need to find a spot to land this. Or needed to find a spot to land this because I'm telling all of this to you after the fact. So actually I know what's going to happen. I'm just trying to keep it exciting here. Okay, this looks good actually. Now firing once more and releasing the landing stage. Goodbye. Oh well, it seems like, it seems like, yay, look at that. We've now got lights and we have got a bald patch in the back. Seems like one of the engines burned off a few of those panels. And we definitely lost the fingertips. So yeah, this is kind of a used statue now, but... Who is going to see it anyway, except you, when you watch this video, and yeah, here it is!
So once again, congratulations to the Kerbal Space Program community on Reddit for reaching 300,000 subscribers. And speaking of subscribers, if you liked what I did here, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button on that video and I hope to see you the next time. Until then, thanks for watching, goodbye.